past several videos, we've discussed the seven questions that we need to ask ourselves before saying something negative about someone like Bud, who seems to have done something quite wrong. Throughout the discussion, we've assumed a positive, constructive reason for, need for needing to speak about Bud. But what qualifies as a positive, constructive reason? We've learned that simply demand demanding that the truth be made public is never a good reason, because something that's true and negative is still Lashanhara. One example of a positive constructive reason is wanting to facilitate Bud's repayment of the stolen money, which is a mitzvah. For this purpose, we will be allowed to speak to people involved in the issue, such as Bud's boss, the owner of the ski shop, the victim, or the police. Discussing the matter with anyone else would still be Lashanhara. Another example of a positive constructive reasoning would be to warn coworkers to be more careful with their money around. This reason would help others avoid experiencing loss or harm, a mitzvah that we've discussed before. When doing so, you should tell them in advance that this is the reason that you're discussing the issue with them so they don't think you're speaking Lashon Hara. They may then take precautions to protect themselves from Bud, but they shouldn't actually believe it to be true or treat Bud any less respectfully because of what they heard. The final example of a positive constructive reasoning to say something about Bud is wanting to teach people a lesson about the significant problem of theft. It might be possible to accomplish this without identifying Bud, which would avoid the Lashon Hara issue altogether. In fact, educating Bud himself so that he should learn to stop stealing would be a constructive goal. Of course, you still have to run through all seven questions before speaking up for any of these reasons. Lastly, one additional reason you may consider saying something negative about Bud and the incident at the ski shop would be if you're asked for a reference. If someone else is considering hiring Bud or forging a business relationship with him, you have a positive constructive reason to help others avoid potential harm or loss. In these situations, great care must be taken to carefully consider the needs of both parties. Remaining silent on a point of significance to a potential employer would be as problematic as overstating something negative about Bud. Some general rules to follow include limiting your answers to the specific information that you're asked for, sharing anything that would be grounds for terminating the relationship, and imagining yourself in the position of the person asking you for the reference as well as the person you're speaking about. Today, if you're drawn into a conversation about others that includes the potential for something negative to be said, clarify for yourself what your positive constructive reason is for speaking. I'm Uwe Brown. I'm Shira David. I'm Ira Wapsack. And, and we're, we're keeping it clean. clean.